Hey friends, today I am at the Antique Mall here in Lakeland, Florida. The reason I came out to this beautiful shopping plaza is because inside the Antique Mall, they sell theme park merchandise. Not like theme park merchandise you think of. Inside here, you can get a desk that was inside the Animal Kingdom Lodge, a chair from the Grand Floridian Lobby. You can get Halloween Horror Night props. So many nifty things. Let's go do this. I have to put my face mask on, but what I'm mainly looking for in here is something Walt Disney World owned and maybe a coffee table. I would love a Walt Disney World owned coffee table. I don't know if they make them, but it'd be great to be like sitting in a living room and be like, oh yeah, that's from the Animal Kingdom Lodge or yeah, yeah, no, that's from Port Orleans. I think that's pretty awesome. This place is much bigger than I anticipated. It's actually huge. Oh boy, and I already found something pretty amazing. Take a look at this mirror right here. This is a mirror from the Disney All-Star Resort. How cool is that? $50. Did you see, anybody recognize that? So they probably took this out when they renovated and they got a hold of one. $50 for that mirror is pretty decent. And right behind me, a bunch of Halloween Horror Night props. This is amazing. What a little hidden gem that they have here at Lakeland, Florida. Some framed art from the Contemporary Resort and then it gives you a little picture of where the picture was at. That's only $35. This mirror right here is an actual mirror from the Disney's Polynesian for only $50. That's a good deal too. Oh, look at this. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Grand Villa prop and table. That might do, that might be a coffee table. It's a little small, but I like it. This is also pretty awesome. This is a chair from inside the ABC commissary at Hollywood Studios. And then look at these mini chairs back here. These are mini chairs, but they don't know where they were used. They're $200 a piece, and then this one is actually only $75. These chairs are always comfortable. All of this Christmas stuff is actually Christmas stuff from the Disney Springs Christmas Tree Trail. I mean, I know it's a little early to buy Christmas stuff, but wow. $50, some of them are. $20 for that one. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. But oh my lord, this gets way better, way better. This is a whole entire decorated tree from the Animal Kingdom Lodge. You would see these like in the corners of different areas, but you can actually buy the ornaments off of some of the trees that they have. Like, look at this. These are the Disney Spring Tree ornaments. And then these ones are from Animal Kingdom Lodge. Wow. That is so nifty. They also have decorations from other resorts like the Wilderness Lodge, Pop Century, Old Key West. Now these were all on the main trees or some of the trees that they have and they go from $4 to $1.50. I might just get one just for the heck of it. And these ones are from Magic Kingdom itself. I gotta go with one of those. I might just go with this one. Look at that. $3 to take home an ornament from Magic Kingdom. I like it. And would you take a look at this? This is actually a princess sign that was in the World of Disney in the little princess section. It's only $35. That's pretty awesome. So when they renovated, it, they took this out and some of it ended up here. Looks like they have multiple, multiple ones, maybe two or three. $35 to have a little piece of World Disney history is pretty amazing. And the picture that I was actually holding to look at the princess art is actually one of the pictures from inside the rooms at the All-Star Music. That's Donald in the Grand Fiesta Tour. This is also something very interesting. This is a large floral display that they used for Epcot Flower and Garden as decoration. That's awesome. And then in the back here we have a lamp from Saratoga Springs and a Yacht Club decorative mirror. That's really cool. An Animal Kingdom Lodge decorative display cabinet. This whole entire thing is actually from Animal Kingdom Lodge. 
that's two thousand dollars but that's well worth it look at that detail i mean you know wow there is a lot to take in i'm a little overwhelmed right now because there's a lot of stuff that i haven't even pointed out yet and it's tough to just go one thing at a time but i want to show you some of the halloween horror night props that they have for sale obviously we can see the signs this is a prop sign it's 45 dollars, but they also have a whole bunch of cool looking monsters these ones aren't all from halloween horror nights like this one i believe is from spooky empire the horror event the ringmaster there are so many cool things wow one of the arcade signs from the universal studios 2019 and then up there they have a spider-man display prop used inside universal studios most of the figurines were actually created for spooky empire but they were actually made by the director of visual operations for universal studios halloween horror nights and they have a little history on each single one of them prices vary like this one right here the ringmaster seven hundred dollars that is something pretty awesome it's tall it's as tall as me up in the top here they also have some hand-painted skulls that were used in Sahara Traders. Those are only $50. I feel like there are a lot of things that I'm actually interested in purchasing. I'm just kind of like weeding out and really trying to be selective because some of this stuff is pretty pricey, but like I said, I think it's once in a lifetime things. Like this jar, a Hollywood Studios prop jar, 20 bucks. This was in Hollywood Studios. Same thing with this one. $7.50? I'm taking that one right now for $7.50. Thank you. Not only do they have theme park merchandise, but they actually have movie and TV show props. This is an original screen use prop from the Marvel Disney Daredevil TV show. I love Daredevil. I thought that was pretty awesome. $3,000 though. Ooh, I wonder what this prop's from. Oh, wow this is a statue from the Grand Floridian this is only $85 Wow I think that's pretty awesome oh boy we got some more stuff over here too look at this vacation club hidden Mickey desk and dresser that is pretty amazing $250 and then there's another one of those end tables from Animal Kingdom Lodge only $150 what is that? Toy Story display from Hollywood Studios. Wow, that's $1,500, but that's it's like a one of a kind piece right there. And in the back here, we have chairs that were from inside Beaches and Cream. That's such an awesome piece because, I mean, Beaches and Cream is such a nifty looking restaurant and to own a little bit of history for $50, you can't go wrong. They have display cases from inside the parks, like Disney's Hollywood Studios launch bay cases, and then Magic Kingdom Castle Couture prop panel, some more photos from the Wilderness Lodge and All-Star Music, and then these are the gigantic TV ottomans that were inside the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Seriously, so many nifty things. I was looking at this Christmas display and I was like, what is that from? And then I looked on the picture and they're the red things that were hanging out at the entrance where the ticketing is at Epcot. $85 and they have two of them. Wow, this is something I would have bought hands down. But unfortunately, I just bought patio furniture. But this is patio furniture from Animal Kingdom Lodge. $300 for the set. And look at that little zebras on the back. I really love this because I spent a lot of time in the balcony animal kingdom with my mom. She loves sitting out there. Look at that. They also have some decorative chairs from the Polynesian Resort. Only $45. I am really loving this place. It is so magical. So many nifty, unique, old, awesome things. I... <laughs> oh man. I mean, it is just row after row after row of just amazing stuff. Something for everybody in here. Really is blowing my mind. 
and I'm also learning things that I had no idea like Disney's escape room prop I didn't even know Disney had an escape room and this says yes Disney had an escape room Google Disney escape room challenge and right here is an actual fairy tale wedding looks like cutting set Wow I really wanted to try to buy that Animal Kingdom Lodge trunk to use as a coffee table but it's an end table and it just won't fit but it's $150 and you can't go wrong with that I don't know I feel like I'm gonna regret not getting that and even though I might regret not getting the Animal Kingdom luggage or trunk I am gonna walk out with a piece of contemporary art and some Christmas from Magic Kingdom. I found this red ornament and it actually tells you it's from Main Street where Santa was. So that's pretty awesome. 40 bucks for a little Disney history. But like I said guys, this place is phenomenal. And I think I might come back and just do a whole entire overlay. There is so much area to cover. Every single little cubby, there's just something different. And I really like it. Let me know in the comments what you guys would have liked to buy. And also, let me know in the comments if you think I should come back here. I'm sorry, I also did forget to stop back up front to show you guys the pin section. There's not much, I mean, it's mostly locked up, but they do have a lot of pins. Pins and barrels from three to four to five to six to 10 and up. And then over here, they probably have more exclusive ones. Can't really see them though. Oh, they have an Epcot ticket replica right there. I like that. Some cool stuff. Well, I guess that's going to do it for me from the Antique Mall. Like I said, uh, it's kind of like a flea market, but it's like operated by one like company. They just sell all your stuff. So you rent out the booth, put your stuff there, price it, and then they sell it. So it's pretty interesting. But the Disney collector... The person that sells the Disney stuff is actually licensed by Disney to resell these items and he brings them here. I'll put all of the information about the Antique Mall in the description below and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye!